Hello everyone, this is Andrew McNair from Swan Capital with our May 2016 Educational Economic Update. In this month's video, we're going to be talking about some of the major economic events that influenced markets last month and give you some insight into what it might mean for you as an investor. Now, as always, please stay tuned at the end for a required disclosure statement. So the Federal Reserve Open Market Committee met in late April and unsurprisingly decided to leave interest rates exactly where they are. Though the Fed still expects to raise interest rates this year, central bankers clearly intend to move very carefully. Though the Federal Reserve seems ready to raise interest rates as soon as they can, um, the latest economic data doesn't support their narrative. See, before the meeting, many investors were expecting to see that June rate hike. However, the Fed's cautious tone and the November election make it much more likely that we'll see the next rate hike not until December. Now, investors also got a look at fresh economic growth numbers. See, the GDP uh, advance estimate came out, the gross domestic product, which showed that the economic growth actually uh, stumbled, increasing just a mere 0.5% in, in the first three months of this year. That's a sharp decrease from the 1.4% that the economy grew in the last quarter of 2015. Now, the wheat growth is concerning, but it's not something economists are panicking over either. See, slower spending uh, by consumers and government cutbacks uh, to business investing stemming from the plunging crude oil prices all contribute to the dismal growth last quarter. But the good news is, is that cons uh, the economists don't expect this weakness to continue for the rest of 2016. See, if you look at the past, now, the past performance is never a good predictor of the future always, it's never 100%. But typically, if we see weak first quarters uh, are followed by stronger quarters in the later part of the year. And we've seen that in the last few years. So with energy prices also look to be stabilizing, this will hopefully spur business investment. And consumer spending is also expected to make a comeback this quarter. Now, first quarter earnings season kicked off in April. And the low expectations that investors had about performance paid off because it left room for positive surprises. Now, out of 209 S&P 500 companies reporting so far, earnings were down 5.5% from the first quarter of 2015, and revenues were down 1.6%. However, over 75% of firms were able to beat expectations, showing that management did a good job preparing the market. Now, even with the earnings picture being as weak as it is, better than expected results can give individual stocks a pop in the market. Now, overall, we can see that U.S. firms really struggled with growth in the first quarter, and the energy sector has been a serious drag on the over, overall S&P 500. This, this sector alone are down 114% over the same period last year. Now, the tech sector isn't helping either. It generally underperformed as big names like Apple, Google, and Microsoft failed to live up to the expectations that they built on the previous quarters. To, so to sum it all up, through the, uh, though the economy continues to chug along, growth was hard to come by for U.S. firms in the first quarter, and many challenges still exist ahead. Now, slow economic growth also complicates things for the Federal Reserve, and we're going to have to watch what they do to see how they're going to affect interest rates. However, it looks like we have some brighter news. Growth ahead of us in the second quarter, and we're going to know more in just a few weeks. So that's going to be it for May's Educational Economic Update. As always, if you have any questions or concerns about what we talked about so far, uh, in this video, give us a call at, at the office at 850-380-9558. We do have our Swan Capital cooking class um, open exclusively for our clients on uh, May 28th at 1130 at Tuscan Oven. Uh, it's an event you'll definitely want to RSVP for because I'm sure it's filling up as we speak. We'll see you next time on our educational update. Signing off here, Andrew McNair for May 2016. See you next time.